Hello and welcome back. This is an important update for those of you who own cars equipped with the Citroen Peugeot Stellantis 1.2 PureTech engine, as I'm delighted to say a permanent fix for the wet belt issues is going to be here within the coming months. Make sure you watch this full video, here's all the details. Let's start with a little bit of a recap on the engine itself because in order to understand the solution that's being proposed here, you need to understand the problem, as I've said before. So this engine was introduced back in 2012. You're going to find it in Peugeot's, you're going to find it in Citroen's, even Vauxhall's because they're part of the Stellantis group. The predecessor engine, the TU unit, that was struggling to meet emission laws and it was getting a little bit dated, although it was a decent little engine. That's why the 1.2 PureTech was born. Now, although the PureTech was a fuel-efficient, relatively powerful, impressive little engine, the one thing it lacked in spades was reliability. One of the major problem areas was the wet belt system. Now, I've spoken about this lots in the past, so I won't go right into all the technical aspects, but to give you a high-level understanding, the rubber timing belt is running through the engine oil. It's a terrible design, there's no other way of putting it. Rubber and hot oil just do not go together. The rubber starts to break down, the little rubber particles end up blocking the various oil feeds in the engine, the strainers in the engine, and it's very similar to what we see in the Ford EcoBoost Fox engines as well. Ultimately, this tends to lead to engine failure. Now you do get those who still say so long as you use the correct oil, so long as you service it at the correct intervals, it will be 100% fine. That, I'm afraid, just is not the case. I've personally seen very well cared for, very well serviced examples of this engine, and when we pull them apart, you find the exact same thing. Oil feeds are blocked, strainers blocked. If it was truly the case that using the correct oil in routine servicing was the cure for this issue, then why would Stellantis have switched back to a timing chain in this engine's successor? Now about three months ago, I released a video about a Dutch company, I previously thought they were Norwegian, I got that wrong, who had leaked some details about a potential permanent fix in the form of a retrofit timing chain for these engines. Very interesting. It was a little bit cryptic at the time, there wasn't a whole lot of information, and it appeared on their website to be in a bit of a prototype stage. Well, I have since been in touch with them just very recently, and let me say, things have moved on big time. So this is the kit which they now commercially supply, and it includes everything needed to completely swap out that heinous wet belt system. It's got the tensioners, sprockets, hardware, and obviously the chain in there as well. So rather than just switching from troublesome wet belt to troublesome wet belt, you can instead have a chain retrofitted, which is likely to last the rest of the car's life. Now I'm keen to point out this is not a paid ad, I've got no affiliation with this company whatsoever, I've just simply seen firsthand the amount of money that people have had to shell out fixing these problematic engines time and time again. So one reassuring thing, very happy to see this, is the branding on the chain. As you can see, it's made by Iwis. Now, if you're not familiar with them, they're a big German manufacturer, and they're well known for quality chains. They make industrial chains, motorcycle chains, and they also provide chains for the likes of BMW and Mercedes. When I spoke to the company providing this kit, they did confirm that this is a custom order chain. It's got a specific number of links for the PureTech engine, so it's made specifically for this kit by Iwis. Now, in terms of price and availability, they are hoping this kit is going to be available here in the UK as soon as March or April, so very, very soon, as in next month. Now, with them being a European company, the kits are going to need to be imported into the UK, and they're currently looking at how to best manage this. They're considering a number of UK-based companies to act as resellers or distributors, making it nice and easy for Joe Public to drive into a garage, get it supplied and fitted, and be on their way in one fail swoop. As for price, this really amazed me. Don't quote me pound for pound here, because there's going to be import duty and VAT still to be figured out. But the company are hoping to supply these kits for somewhere in the region of £500, plus the cost of fitting of course. When you consider the going rate at a main dealer's for swapping a problematic wet belt out for another problematic wet belt is over £600 now, it's not going to cost you that much more to get one of these kits fitted and in theory it's never going to need replacing again. Now, I do have a direct line of contact with this company now, so if you'd like to be kept informed about the availability of these kits, then do hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell notifications so that you get updates as I release them. 
Arguably, this is something that Stellantis should have developed themselves and rolled out in a recall, but at least owners of this engine are going to have a good alternative in place very, very soon. It's likely going to see the price of these cars increase if they've had this kit fitted as well. Now, although this is great news for those who already own cars equipped with that 1.2 PureTech engine, I'm not for one minute saying go out and buy one now. I make videos all the time on what cars you should consider buying and what cars you absolutely should not consider buying. Now, regardless of what used car you're looking to buy, consider using today's video sponsor, Vehicle Score. This is a free service that allows you to put the plate of any car into their system and get good and bad points about that car for completely free. Now, if you are serious about buying that given car, then do purchase one of their paid HPI reports for a comprehensive background report. The good thing about Vehicle Score is if that report comes back clean, they'll refund your money. Can't say fairer than that really, can you? I'll drop a 15% discount voucher and link in the description below for this. Now, one common question that I get is, are we likely to see something similar to this for the Ford EcoBoost Fox engines? Well, never say never. One thing I will say though is, with these PureTech engines, the belt is in quite a typical traditional location, and so it's much easier to access than it would be on an EcoBoost engine. It would be a far bigger job, but then we never expected anyone to come along with a chain kit for the PureTechs, did we? So you never know. Now, please do me a favour and share this video far and wide so as many PureTech owners see it as possible. And also, if you don't mind, give this video a like so the YouTube algorithm sees it as beneficial to share it as well. Now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next one.